Audacious is a free and open source audio player with a focus on low resource use, high audio quality, and support for a wide range of audio formats. It is designed primarily for use on POSIX compatible systems such as Linux, with limited support for Microsoft Windows. Audacious is the default audio player in Lubuntu and in Ubuntu Studio. History Audacious began as a fork of Beep Media Player, which itself is a fork of XMMS. William Nenelod Pitcock decided to fork Beep Media Player after the original development team announced that they were stopping development in order to create a next-generation version called BMPX. According to the Audacious home page, Pitcock and others had their own ideas about how a player should be designed, which they wanted to try in a production environment. Since version 2.1, Audacious includes both the Winamp-like interface known from previous versions and a new, GTK Plus-based interface known as GTK UI, which resembles FUBAR 2000 to some extent. GTK UI became the default interface in Audacious 2.4. Before version 3.0, Audacious used the GTK Plus 2, X Toolkit by default. Partial support for GTK Plus 3, X was added in version 2.5, while version 3.0 has full support for GTK Plus 3, X and uses it by default. However, dissatisfied with the evolution of GTK Plus 3, X, the Audacious team chose to revert to GTK Plus 2 starting with the 3.6 release, with long term plans of porting to Quart. As of August 8, 2018, the official website has HTTPS enabled site wide and GTK Plus 3, X support is also gone for real in this release. Features Audacious contains built in gapless playback. Topic: <laughs> Default codec support. MP3 using LIBMPG 123. Advanced audio coding AAC and AAC+. Vorbis Flack Wavepack Shorten SHN Newspack TTA Codec Windows Media Audio WMA Apple Lossless ALAC 150 different module formats Several chiptune formats, I, GBS, JIM, HES, KSS, NSF, NSFE, SAP, SPC, VGM, VGZ, VTX PlayStation Audio, Portable Sound Format PSF and PSF2 Nintendo DS Sound Format, 2SF Ad Lib chiptunes via AdPlug Library WAV formats provided by Libsyn File Plugin MIDI via native OS synthesizer control or timidity. CD audio Topic: <inaudible> Plugins <inaudible> Audacious owes a large portion of its functionality to plugins, including all codecs. More features are available via third-party plugins. Current versions of the Audacious Core classify plugins as follows some are low level and not user visible at this time. Decoder plugins, which contain the actual codecs used for decoding content. Transport plugins, which are low level and implemented by the VFS layer. General plugins, which provide user added services to the player, such as sending tracks with Audio Scrubbler. Output plugins, which provide the audio system backend of the player. Visualization plugins, which provide visualizations based on fast Fourier transforms of the wave data. Effect plugins, which provide various sound processing on the decoded audio stream. 
container plugins, which provide support for playlists and other similar structures. Low-level plugins, which provide miscellaneous services to the player core and are not categorized into any of the other plugins. Output plugins Pulse Audio Output OSS4 Output ALSA Output Soundio Output SDL Output File Writer plugin – No sound is played, the output is instead redirected into a new file. This plugin supports the output file formats, WAV, MP3, OGG Vorbis and FLAC. It can be used to transcode a file and also to rip a CD. Jack output Topic. Skins Audacious has full support for Winamp 2 skins, and as a version 1.2, some free form skinning is possible. Winamp.wsz skin files, a type of zip archive, can be used directly, or can be unarchived to individual directories. The program can use Windows Bitmap .bmp graphics from the Winamp archive, although native skins for Linux are usually rendered in portable network graphics .png format. Audacious 1.x allows the user to adjust the RGB color balance of any skin, effectively making a basic white skin equivalent to a host of colorized skins without editing them manually. Topic. Clients Audacious is intended to be a standalone media player not a server unlike XMMS2, though it accepts connections from client software, such as Konki. Connection to Audacious for remote control can be done over plain DBUs, by using an MPRIS-compatible client, or using the official Audtool utility created just for this purpose. See also Comparison of free software for audio hashtag players <laughs>